the much discussed and finally much mythologized Operation Dynamo, the effort to get as many men as possible off the Dunkirk beaches, began on the 26th of May, 1940, though it didn't start very promisingly, just a few thousand men taken off on the first day, and was put in jeopardy on the 28th by the Belgian surrender, the rate of evacuation began to pick up. Captain Marcus Irvin Andrews was a 29-year-old Irishman, he arrived in France just a few weeks before the German invasion, he was commanding a company of the 1st East Lancashires, he was charged with defending a pretty large section of the British line along the Canal des Bergues. Overnight, from the 31st of May to the 1st of June, he and his men were subjected to very heavy German assaults, but were able to keep the enemy away. Units on either side of his own, however, weren't quite as successful, and these Lancashires finally found themselves in even greater danger and under further attack from both sides. At one point, seeing the peril facing one of his platoons, Captain Irvin Andrews climbed atop a barn, which was already under very heavy German fire, and killed large numbers of the enemy with a rifle and Bren gun. Finally, having run out of ammunition, and with the house he'd been defending on fire, he sent away the last of his wounded men on a retreating vehicle before leading the remainder of his company, which was only eight men at this point, in withdrawal to a new position. Captain Irvin Andrews and the rest of his company had kept the Germans at bay for more than 10 hours, and on the 2nd of June, they finally had their turn, were taken off the beaches. Four years later, he would be in France yet again, helping to capture Caen in Normandy. He retired from the army in 1952 after 20 years of service, and spent the rest of his life farming in the West Country, and died in 1995.